guys, it's Janie. Welcome back to the Bookworms, buddy. It is time for Let's Talk Authors. This time I chose Karen Slaughter. Um, I really started enjoying her, I, I believe it was last year, I started with her Will Trent series. And um, I am still reading them. I am up to book number five, I believe. Yeah. I'm up to book number five on that series, and I would love to be able to finish it. I have five, six, and seven to go. I'd like to finish it for this year. She has another series. It's the Grant County series, which I have not started reading that one. I've only got a couple of those books. Um, she also has several standalones. <clears throat> She's got um, Cop Town, which was her most recent. I believe that was her most recent, and I managed to get it from NetGalley and read it as a review book. And I enjoyed it. I would like to own that book and, and maybe be able to read it again. Um, she's got Cold Cold Heart. She's got uh, Pretty Girls. I mean, she's got several standalones. And I think it's important for um, authors to have both. If, you know, if they want to write series, that's great. But I think they also need to have um, standalone books so people can just, like, try out a book. Um, and then not feel obligated to read the next one. So I think standalones are great for authors to have. Um, so I don't have a whole lot of a book, so I can just show them to you right here. I don't have to go to my shelves. Um, let's get started. We'll start first with the uh, Will Trent series, which is really, really fantastic. I'm absolutely loving that series. Um, I own all those books uh, in that series. There are seven. Seven. Um, here we go. First one is Triptych, Fractured, Undone, Broken, and those four I have completed. And then book number five, Fallen, Criminal, and Unseen is book number seven. Uh, if you like mystery and you like uh, those flawed kind of characters, those flawed protagonists. Will Trent is fantastic when it comes to that. Um, Karen Slaughter really knows how to write a story. They're, it's a great plot line for each book. Um, again, it is a mystery series, so there are different cases in each of the books. Um, but I like to read them in order still because that is how the characters develop through the series, and you get to really get to know who your characters are. So Will Trent is one of my favorites. I absolutely love him. He's so flawed. He has so many issues, but he's a strong protagonist, and I, I like that as well. So that is the Will Trent series. And then for the Grant County series, I've only got three books. I've got book one, which is Blindsided. I have book three, which is Faint, A Faint Cold Fear. And then I have book six, which is Beyond Reach. And once I finish the Will Trent series, I will probably start on this one and I'll start picking up more. There are also um, novellas in the Will Trent series. There's two that I, that I can remember specifically, and it's a 5.5 and a 6.5, um, Snatched and Busted. I don't generally read the novellas, really. I just like to get through the series, and then maybe if I come across them, I will read those novellas. I'm just not one to read the in-betweens because it, especially if the series is good if you're getting all the backstory that you need then I don't really read the novellas uh, maybe if I just want a hint of what a book is about I may pick one up but anyway I'm rambling and that is who my author is for today Karen Slaughter if you've loved mystery you love female strong female writers Karen Slaughter is great um, go check her out and start out with the Will Trent series, with Triptych, fantastic. It really pulled me in. It's what got me to get the rest of the series. So check her out. If you've read any Karen Slaughter, uh, let me know in the comments and we'll talk about it. Thanks, guys, for staying tuned, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.